Greetings and salutations. It's your boy E. Boom for LOE Ascension, aka LOE Astrology, aka LOE Tarot. And um, come on, another message. We have Divine Masculine's karmic situation. Um, quick FYI. Um, $24 Father's Day special readings. They expire at midnight. Um, still four slots left. I haven't had anybody book for them. <laughs> like I say Father's Day, they'll never get no love. I'm doing a shit for about two and a half, three years, man. And every Father's Day is the same. It's crazy. But Mother's Day, you yeah, all another energy, man. But I'm off of it. It's past Father's Day. You yeah, never hear my mouth about it. I'm telling you, when I have kids, it's over with. I'm be on y'all ass. Ha! be on y'all ass. <laughs> Best lead that shit. You know what I'm talking about? But look, let's get this message out. I'm anxious to see what's going on in the line. Masculine's karmic realm. Ha! Looks like it's going to be very interesting. So, let's get straight with it. D, 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 some folk online. All right, now. Overall energy, we got the two of swords. This is pussyfooting around. I know exactly what this shit is too, just by looking at it. Clarifying this is the nine of swords. This is losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight the wrong way. Stress. Too stressed. Just too stressed. Too many thoughts running through your motherfucking mind right now. You know, it's hard enough. We're already trying to make a decision. Of, do you want to stay or do you want to go? What a particular someone. <laughs> some, someone, someplace, or something. Really in a fucking teeter-totter position about it. Aside from all that, it's got you stressed the fuck out. Beyond recognition. Now, nine of swords plus two of swords. What's that? Knight of swords. What's the knight of swords? Knight of swords, that's making decisions without crossing your T's and dotting your I's. Fear. You're already stressed. It's just showing signs of fear, too. I smell it all up in this motherfucker. Clarifying all this, we got the six of swords. This is shit going smooth. Look at all these swords. What are swords? Thoughts, decisions, the mental direction you want to go in. Your ideology, your mentality. Feel me? All mental. It's too, you too mental. You come into the situation overthinking. The fact you teeter-tottering shows signs that you don't know what direction you want to go. The fact that you stressed about this shows that <laughs> it's like you're not even like... Not only do you don't know what direction to go, you don't even know what to think of whatever the situation is. Aside from whatever this is, you just want a clear mind. This is the energy of... You so stressed out, you ain't smoke. It's like, <laughs> it's like my mom. <laughs> my mom don't smoke like that at all. But every once in a blue moon, it's like seeing Haley's Comet. <laughs> every once in a blue moon, my mom might just be like, hey, she a Sagittarius. My twin do the same shit. Hey, my, this is like a Sagittarius shit. When, when my mom's stressed out, like when that shit building up to here, it's like, look, you know, I like you smoking that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But um, if you got some of that shit, nigga, bro, that shit, nigga, hey, let me take a couple, couple hits. That's all mom need to do. She's straight. She just yapping, talking and shit. Like, <laughs> she talk a lot. I, you know, she sound like me when she hit, you know what I'm saying? But don't take her too much. She just want to free her scout. You know what I mean? When she do that, she good. Like my mom smoked the equivalent of, I don't know, like two puffs every Three, four years. I wish I had that discipline. <laughs> but it's like sometimes shit gets a little rough. You feel like you got the bottleneck right now. And why? It's because of this bottom line energy right here. What you finally understand. Like what you finally understand now. A lot of secrets. This goes from your last reading. Your separation reading. A lot of secrets have come to the light. Like you have so much knowledge. So much awareness. Way more than what the fuck you had a couple days ago. A couple hours ago. Last week. With the shit that you know now, it's got you tweaking. I told you, you all mental. 
straight mental. <laughs> mental, G. You were from a two to a nine to a six, right? To a seven, right? But you're moving on up. But you got this four pinnacle here. This has been your main problem, too. You hold on too tight to some shit or you're scared to let something go. This is truth you don't want to believe. Why you don't want to believe it? Because like I say, it goes back to the two of pentacles you win in the overall energy. It further, it further correlates that you going in the right direction by going the right way. It's only one right way. You got left, you got right. You got one right way. You've been going the opposite way or the right way for a long ass time. Now you finally come up on some shit to let you know that that was the right way all along. That true indeed you have been wasting time all these years. True indeed, your feminine is exactly who the fuck she said she was. He can be a she, she can be a he. Now nah, we rocking. You starting to see. You starting to get the like. You starting to jack the fuck out the matrix. Like I said, you've been in the matrix so long, it feel like you 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 thought you was back in the matrix. You forgot you was woke. Forgot you had a whole fucking purpose. You know what I'm saying? You forget a lot of shit. I hit my man's back. Um, you've been jacking the matrix so long, you kind of forgot you had a whole life on Earth. Forgot you had a whole feminine, <laughs> a whole pair. You know, you got divine duties. It's a lot of shit you don't really want to own up to, but you, you know, you you you're doing it. Like I say, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. No matter how hard headed you can be masculine or your feminine can be, y'all all like y'all always gonna submit. Y'all always gonna bow down to divine law and divine order. It's been governing the universe since before we got here as a fucking planet, and it's gonna govern this motherfucker until it's gone. Don't nothing change with the address when it comes to universes. It's add-ons to the universes. <laughs> I've been around since the Big Bang, nigga, since the original center. It's too much shit going on. Like I say, where Earth is, like the location of our super universe, we're so on the last edge of shit, it don't even make sense. We are far more primitive than the people who've been around. Look how advanced we are, but still, we're far more primitive than the people that have been around. Okay, we the guests in this house. We do stay in this planet, which is a temporary space and time, but we've been guests up in this motherfucker. I'm going to throw that shit out there. Any rate, let's get to the real message. Masculine, you're just going to have to accept what's going on right now. Right now, you're finding out that a lot of shit you thought was right, a lot of shit you thought was right was wrong. The ideologies you had before is gone. You're going to have to get with the program. It's like you embarrassed to admit you were wrong. Or it's like last week you rolled off your twin. Now you seeing you need your twin. Not need him because you don't really need anyone. You got yourself. But it's just, uh, like I said, you got to tie loose ends. You got to tie loose ends with your divine feminine. That's why she even out here. Now, coming to this reading. And your mystery, no, fuck that. Your karmic role, masculine, you hurt. You wounded. This is hurt. You playing a victim and you really hurt. I could tell you why, but let me pick another card. <sighs> Queen of Cups. There go that Queen of Cups again. I, I'm using two different decks. <laughs> Queen of Cups. This is the X-Men card. This is dreams, visions, signs, synchronicities. Power. Raw power. It was the same raw power that dropped the last seven of swords. That was in your message, masculine. This was secrets dropping on your lap. This was you getting revealed a whole bunch of shit. Now, it's like you still looking at them visions in your head. They're like embedded in your head. The truth is embedded in your head and it's got you hurt. Truth is, you fucked up. To submit you fucked up and, 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 and get back rolling. Because what you don't understand is your feminine know what's going on. Not saying she's sitting around with a motherfucking chair pulled up and a cool glass of milk and some cookies waiting on you for this apology because she knows it's time. She knows that's what time it is. No. It's all about dignity. It's all about respect. Admiration. Your feminine bitch had that. Why the fuck that shit gonna change now? 
She is not a karmic. He can be a she, she can be he, you know how we rock it. Your white feminine is not a karmic. She ain't finna come the karmic route with your ass when it comes to this whole full circle scenario you got going on. You hurt, you can play victim all day, but the but the truth is pounding you in your motherfucking head. You know what time it is. Some more smoke on that. You know what time it is. Hey, the swords. <laughs> It's time to walk out that self-imposed prison. You broke out a long time ago. The reason why you... It's like I said, this is the energy of... It's your bachelor party. You about to get married. You went to a bachelor party and you got drunk as fuck. Right? And ended up locked up. You wake up in the motherfucking hole, the holding cell. You hurt. You throwing up. You fucked up. But you even more fucked up because you remember... Damn, this is my bachelor party and I ain't even been home. Who knows what my fiance is thinking right now. But nigga, you know, because you replaying in your head exactly what the fuck going to happen. Because you know your motherfucking fiance. You know what type of woman you marry and you know exactly what the fuck waiting on you when you get home. And you know you got to get there. Eight of Swords, this is the energy of you staying in that fucking cell as long as you can before you go home. Because you know what's waiting on you when you get home. You a fucking adult. What type of little kid shit you didn't got into, man? Fuck is you really on? Like, come on now. Like, really? <laughs> you know you finna get an earful. You know you finna get shitted on. You know this ain't no good look. You cannot spend the night in the cell because you, 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 you free. They letting you out. It's like, sir, you can leave. And it's like, can I just chill here for the night? And they're looking at you like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Little kid, like, get your little kid ass spot out of here. You know what I'm saying? Face the music. Why I'm asking, face the music. Because you personally come into the situation. You're going to have to face the music. This is your divine feminine. Once again, you know what time it is. Face the music, bro. You acting like your feminine finna treat your ass. I mean, she might, because she's in full on feminine mode. And usually when your <laughs> usually when your twin flame is like in true and rare form like this, this is like I say, being flamed on. It's like uh Johnny from fucking Fantastic Four being flamed on. This is like Superman not Clark Kent. This is like Batman, not Bruce Wayne. Like this is your outfit. It's like superhero in his outfit. Usually when your divine feminine is in a motherfucking outfit, when it comes to you, she got the tendency to burn you. Just like when you in your outfit, you always got a tendency to burn her. You can't get fucking pissed at what the fuck your feminine gonna say. This is the shit you need to understand before anything. <laughs> before <laughs> real shit. This is the shit you need to understand before you feel. Anything about what the fuck your feminine finna say as the result of what the fuck you been on. Not the other way around, son. You know your feminine got a mouth on her. My twin, he know I got a mouth on me, nigga. He know. Fuck I am, nigga. I ain't no agitator. I'm not no instigator. I don't fuel fires, okay? It's just. <laughs> it's not what I say, it's how I say it. It's my tone and shit. I love the fuck out my twin. As most feminists do. Your feminine love the fuck out you, masculine. So when your feminine shit on you for being stupid, don't take it the wrong way. Take it as PMD. You're taking it as I'm putting you down. And really, I am putting you down. Not putting you down in a bad way. I'm just putting you down like putting you on game. Dropping jewels. That's PMD. That's putting you down. You look at it as I'm putting you down. I am. But I'm putting you down. I'm giving you shit you need to have right now. It's like talking to a hard-headed ass kid. You ain't want to cuss this motherfucker out. You ain't want to put your hands on this motherfucker. But this nigga acting so goofy. Hey, you had to blow up on this little motherfucker to let him know this shit is the problem. This ain't what's popping. Alright, get your little ass the fuck on. I'm tired of, like, I'm tired with this shit. It's, it's done. I'm done. Like my cousin Keisha used to do, just... Like, nigga, go that way. Out my face. Get out my face. Ha! Get out my face. <laughs> Get out my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You're gonna blow a fuse. You're gonna snap. You're gonna shit on your mask. And why? Because it's like it's gonna be the timing. The timing is gonna suck. As always, he's gonna be hitting you with shit you already knew. He's gonna be bitching because you ain't acting considerate or you ain't being kind or caring for this moment. Like it's like he gonna be. It's like your master's gonna want you to show sympathy to him or her for finally coming out the bag with you. It's like my twin coming out the bag. And he hasn't yet. It's like my twin coming out the bag with me. Here it is, year eight. You coming out the bag. I came out the bag year two. Feel me? And in this six fucking years, you could have been came out the motherfucking bag. Once again, my mouth. My shit would be, why now? Not saying I don't want it, but what 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 changed? What's what does six years happen that's different from fucking back like when I when I did this shit? Hmm? You know, I got smart ass mouth and all that shit. You know what I mean? It's like you gotta get the fucking business from your feminine. You're gonna get verbally abused. Alright? But not in a bad way. Cause, Cause it's communication. Communication ain't just talking. It's venting, expression. Because if you don't vent, you don't express yourself, you're going to collapse on yourself like a dying star. Shit you're doing masculine, shit your feminine don't do, because as you see, your feminine got a mouth on her. You can be a she, you should be a he, you know how you rock it. <laughs> Karma to all that. You in regards to your feminine, you're going to have to rebuild this bridge. It's the bridge that was built already. So excuse the divine feminine's enthusiasm building this bridge again with you. I'm going to say that shit two times. This is a bridge that you're rebuilding with your twin flame. <laughs> Don't be offended by your feminine's lack of enthusiasm for re-going in this route. One thing about your feminine, one thing about divine people, we don't like going fucking backwards. How are we progressing going back this way? There's only a few people that's going to make us go back this way. Like, I don't know, a fucking karmic. Like, we trying to save a karmic life out here. We putting our fucking life at risk trying to save a person who don't even know God. Who don't even fucking understand. Like, I mean, why? 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 We're divine. That's why we do it. Yeah, they don't fuck with God, but it's like, we still gonna help them. It's like a fucking KKK motherfucker bleeding the side in the middle of the road. We, I'm gonna pick him up, put him in the truck in my car. I'm gonna get his ass to the hospital. My other homie in the car, why? You, I mean... And he in the back, fuck you niggas, I don't even want to fuck with you. Yeah. Just leave me. Just leave me and shit. Like, no, fuck you, bitch. Take your ass to the motherfucking hospital. I throw his ass out of my truck. Save his fucking life. I ain't have to do it. You know what I mean? But that's what divine people do. Twin flames, man. We lower ourselves for you motherfuckers all the time. Once again, this is the seven of swords. This is the shit you starting to understand. Like I say, actions went into this shit fucking with you, masculine. Emotions, a lot of emotions went into fucking with you, masculine. It's a lot of thought going into fucking with you, masculine. And it's just a lot of emotion that just surrounds you. It's a bridge that you already built, that you're trying to rebuild with your twin. And excuse your feminine's lack of enthusiasm for going back to a three of pentacles. She's probably somewhere in a fucking Khalees bossy car, queen of pentacles energy, but she got to come to a three. To reestablish, reestablish a connection with you. Reread, reread. That's part of the reread you got in your future. Just the last card you got is a reread. This shit here is part of your reread process. Because you removed yourself from your fucking twin. Now you gotta remove yourself from wherever the fuck you at and get reconnected with your motherfucking twin. That's why she's here. <laughs> You building a bridge. I'm gonna say this shit. I'm gonna move on. You're building a fucking bridge that you already built already to reconnect a connection with your twin. Excuse your divine feminine's lack of enthusiasm for coming back to level three to help you with this shit. She don't have to do it, but she will. Your fucking karmics ain't coming down this low to help you with shit. Huh. All right, let's keep it moving. Masculine, you in regards to the feminine energy, personally, you're getting some good awareness. Once again, you just get knocked with a fucking awareness. All this awareness is, is the shit that your feminine told you a long time ago. It's like your divine feminine gave you a shitload of jewels. So much jewels, it's like a two mile cloud of jewels just floating in the sky. Because you ain't got them. You ain't picked them up. Okay? 
It's like condensation. My feminine that put all these jewels out. She don't see no jewels nowhere because you ain't picked up no jewels. Where's all these jewels that I dropped? You ain't picked none up. Nah, because they didn't, they didn't go to the ground. Apparently, these jewels got helium in it or some shit, or maybe the devil, your masculine's best friend, took all these jewels and put them somewhere where your masculine couldn't get them. And it's like wherever, it's like a big cloud of jewels. It's like God punched a hole in that cloud, and it's just raining jewels. And your masculine is just sitting there like, what the fuck? Like, like this is mine. These are mine. Like, where do these come from? Like, who took my jewels? You know what I'm saying? Like, why wasn't I? Like, it's like he's getting literally rained down with jewels. Each jewel represents information, awareness, a piece of awareness. I told you, it's a whole cloud of jewels raining on him. These are thousands of jewels that's coming at him at one fucking time. This is equivalent of me getting like four digital downloads at one time. When I get one, that shit be crazy. It's like the Matrix, real shit. God, put some shit in my head like, like you know, when you load shit up, it's like I need to learn how to fly a motherfucking helicopter. It's like, alright, hold on. You know how to fly a fucking helicopter. That's how God be giving me shit. And it's like, I remember one time God gave me like two downloads back to back one time. And that shit felt weird. Like, it was just like, I was doing a reading for somebody and it was like, I got a download. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm talking about it and shit in the middle of me talking. It's like, I got another download. I'm, like, it, it fucked me up. It fucked my whole shit up. I had to kind of regather myself because it was like God really was just giving me shit like jewels man like that's power it's part of the queen of cups situation your masculine starting to feel the power but it's like peter pan and never never land when tinkerbell had the bear and was telling grown ass peter pan how to think happy thoughts so he could become pan the fucking man and it's like your masculine finally thinking his happy thoughts his kids or his happy thought. That's the weirdest shit about it. It took his children to, to get him to think happy thoughts for him to fly again. But isn't that weird? Because his children got taken away from him. Then the nigga had the opportunity to literally get his kids. He pushed out on it. Nigga then got fucked up by the Lost Boys. Niggas is out here all crazy. Hanging on a grown ass man hanging with kids. You obviously out of place, right? It took Tinkerbell to kind of show some shit that was in his face the whole time. His kids were in Never Never Land. <laughs> his kids were in Never Never Land. And that was his happy thought. Ryan Masson, your divine feminine is your happy thought. But guess what? Your divine feminine is in Never Never Land with your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? You allow Captain Hook, i.e., the devil. To get in the way. You know what I mean? Yo, yo, feminine don't fuck with Captain Hook. Like, if yo fly feminine is anything, it's Rufio. <laughs> it's Rufio. You just lost Rufio with his melee and shit. Rufio didn't even have to die because it took you so late to fly, fight, and crow. You should have been on that fly, fight, and crow shit the day Hook took your kids. <laughs> your son shouldn't even, this is all I got. Your son shouldn't even bond it with Captain Hook like that. You know what I mean? Pierced the little nigga ear, got him dressing like a whole other nigga. You sh fly or not, you should have been beating the shit out of him off on the hook without flying, nigga, without knowing how to crow and all that shit. You should have just been fucking him up on sight, the father in you. But like I say, it's, it's the shit. Like his kids were his happy thought. His kids hated him. His kids were his happy thought. His kids hated him. You know what I mean? He knew that. That was part of his shit. You know? All he needed to do was get his kids back and come home. You know, his kids were his fucking happy thought. If he didn't have the motherfuckers, he probably wouldn't be able to fly, fight, and crow. Thus, he would have been trapped in Neverland forever. An adult trapped in Neverland forever. And if you're an adult, you're a fucking pirate. 
You a kid, you part of Lost Boys. So his kids would have been part of Lost Boys, probably fighting their dad in this Never Never Land war because these niggas couldn't get on a job. Ha! Let's move on with this motherfucking message. Um, awareness. Massing, you just getting a shitload of awareness and it's raining on, on you like a ton of bricks. And each of these jewels you're picking up are yours. It's like you're picking up the jewels and you're seeing the date and the time these jewels was given to you. It's like, damn, this jewel is eight years old. It's like, damn, it's like you got a letter. It's like you find a letter that your feminine wrote you five years ago. It's been sitting in your inbox or your spam inbox for years. And it's like you finally open up a message. And the message is saying shit that you're going through right now. It's like your feminine predicted that she was going to act like this, predicted that she was going to kick her to the curb and predicted that this person was going to be the downfall of your whole shit. And it's like you reading all this shit. Like, fuck. Jewels. Jewels. Your feminine dropped you jewels a long time ago. You're starting to get aware of what those jewels were. Karma to yourself, masculine. You got the Pimp Cup Chronicles. Something that popped up in your energy a lot, but it's something you're going to have to apply. You're really going to have to fucking, there's something inside of you right now. Okay, you're going to have to pull out of yourself and give it to the world. It's something, your voice, your mind, your soul, like your mind. LL Ascension, aside from tarot and cards and astrology and shit, it's my mind that makes this shit pop. You know, my mind is way more, you know, way bigger than just these and shit. You know what I mean? It's my mind that brings life and, and brings character to this to this channel. My soul brings integrity to this motherfucking channel. Divinity to this motherfucking channel. Because, you know, I feel like I'm only nigga talking about Christ and God and, and Trinity around here. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only Christian psychic around this bitch. But I'll take that. My emotion, <laughs> my emotion is really what, like, you know, my raw, pure emotion with this kind of lets you know how overly dedicated I am to the cause. Like, I'm not just giving you cards. You're getting a whole bunch of shit from me. Things that, it's all I can give you. I can only give you my mind, my body and shit, not my soul. You can't have that, but you get a piece of it. Soul is just like soul music, nigga. Listen to some James Brown. See how you gonna move in your facial expressions. Nigga, that's soul, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's already in you. You just didn't know you had it. Soul. Giving a person a piece of your soul is like James Brown making white people dance in the 50s and 60s. Soul. Giving a person a piece of your soul. Not like soul, like... Your essence, your center, because you don't want to get none of that away or a piece of none of that away because that's very vital to your soul extension process. We talking about what's inside, giving the person what's inside. In the fucking 50s and 60s, James Brown had that inside of him, nigga. In the 50s and 60s, soul, nigga, he had that in him and he gave it to the white motherfuckers, bro. In the 50s and 60s, I find it highly strange that they became like the, the hippie generation came right after that. The babies of those two hip parents in the 50s and 60s who's like doing a mashed potato and a twist at motherfucking James Brown concerts, going to Sam Cooke concerts and shit, going to little Richard concerts. Woo! Ha! You know what I'm saying? Soul, nigga, spicing them up a little bit. So now it's like the fucking 70s and this motherfucking Woodstock and this bitch. And you got like flower children and free love. And, you know what I'm saying? That's what happens when. The soul aspect touches other cultures, other people. Told you this. I'm going to say this shit and I'm going to move the fuck on. Because all this shit is awareness at the end of the day. All this shit is taking something that's inside of you and giving it to the world because the world needs it. African Americans. <laughs> hey, we are the premier race. Okay? Stolen people. Brought to brought to America and shit. Spread out the wall. Like, it was, it's, the, it's a disaster and shit. But we talking about the African Americans, at least the motherfuckers that came to America. Okay? It's key figures. These African Americans were. They were slaves, former slaves, and shit like that. Slaves, key part. These were your major inventors. African Americans, nigga, hey, we've only been around for like 
400 plus years, right? Like as a race. We're the newest race in this motherfucker. You got Alpha, which are like the original man. And you got like Omega, which is us. You know what I'm saying? We ain't been here that long. Every fucking race has lineage, culture, tradition. You can trace these motherfuckers back to their forefathers, ancestors. We can't do that shit with us. Like I said, my shit stopped at Phoenix City, Phoenix City, Alabama, baby. That's where my shit stopped at. You know what I'm saying? Hey, as a group of people who came to this earth in our given situations, nigga, we've done a lot for the world. You cannot live on this planet without having a black inventor. In invention. Without using a black man's invention. You cannot go out this life without using a black man's invention. Look at technology. You got Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and shit. All this shit started from the microchip. Who the fuck invented the microchip? Who the fuck invented the, uh, the light bulb? Nigga, we invented everything. From the monkey wrench to every fucking thing. Nigga, a group of people. Chosen people, in my motherfucking opinion. I'm saying, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. No, hold on. Just hold on. We've done a lot in the 400 years we've been here. But we've been in bondage. Okay? <laughs> like what? 280 of those years? Been segregated? Like another 60 plus of them years? We ain't gonna talk about the racial, inequ racial inequality we still go through right now. It's the reason all this shit happened to this specific group of motherfucking people. Why? It's our contribution to the world. Imagine if we had, imagine if Black Wall Street didn't get bombed. Imagine if we had our one, two percenters and shit. Because every fucking race had their one, two percenters. Ireland got them. India got them. Africa got them. Russia got them. Every fucking place got one, two percenters. But us. And the few one, two percenters that we have, they're usually in the industry, entertainment. They're in systems. Let's put it like that. I ain't gonna die too much in that. I'm already saying too much. Saying all I should say this. <laughs> Contribute something to the world. Because you don't know where it's gonna be. To the motherfucker that invented the microchip, GPS, radar, stoplight, gas mask, car. They were all black. You understand what I'm saying? Without black people, we wouldn't have got the space. You wouldn't have got no fucking where. This country wouldn't win no fucking where. This world wouldn't win no fucking where. Look at the music. Going back to James Brown, nigga. Music, art, fashion. We sonically changed the world. We changed how the world dressed, how the world talks. Then you got niggas like myself, ha, who are putting more influence out here, but on a spiritual level. Shouts out to Infinite Waters. Hey. Everybody got something inside of them. It's evident. You've seen it throughout the years. And we ain't talking about no little beady shit. We talking about big shit. So if you got an invention, a cause, a religion, Church of God in Christ, bitch of C.H. Mason, baby. Bitch of C.H. Mason. <laughs> Founded the Church of God in Christ. You know what I mean? Which to me, whew. Nigga, they the truth. Like, I, that's that's dope. I respect Bishop C.H. Mason for creating something a while back that still stands to this day. It's a legacy. Kojic is a legacy. Church God in Christ, that's a legacy. It's a denomination of a Christian faith. He didn't have to start that denomination of a Christian faith. But that's a, man, that's a grand boast, a grand statement to Christian faith. By starting a denomination, we the church of God in Christ. Nigga. <laughs> Little shit like that. You know, people that started frats to the people that started religious sets. Be the be the first. Be that person. Be the leader. Be the Harriet Tubman. Be the Sojourner of Truth, the Frederick Douglass, the John Brown of shit, man. You know? Everybody got something they can bring to the table. So make sure you bring it. Bring it for the people who brought it before you. The reason why I really gave this little black history lesson is just to show y'all, man. A lot of shit that y'all use today wouldn't even be possible if it wasn't for other people who paved the way. And these other people aren't people who are hidden in history. They have names and faces and shit. You just don't hear about them. Or it's just no of importance to you. 
That's why you need to have your own shit to get to the world. So you ain't really on the dicks of everybody else in the world. You got your own shit or some shit for people to hop on your dick about. Or clitoris. Master, you in regards to yourself, you in a conflicted seven of wands. You know. You just in a conflicted with what? Some in, specific, some in particular. You in a conflicted with this ten of wands. You had this in your last reading. This is something you're going to have to end passionately. I say. And it was hidden last message. It's something. Deep down, you know you're going to have to put it into. Why? Because you know it ain't right. You know it ain't part of your life right now. You know it's not the direction that you're going. You ain't got hella warnings. Take heed of your own warnings. Okay? Final karmic message. Going into the future masculine, you have the full card. This is being in a whole new world like Aladdin. You're in a whole new world like Aladdin. You were unaware of so much shit. Now you're aware now. And it's like you don't know what to do. Like I said, it's like the energy of... It's like you got one son. And you had high hopes for this son. You want your son to play football and be like this all-American player. Who you, you, who you used to be. You know? And it's like your son going in all different directions. No, he's more so in the fashion, clothes, he's got a lot of girls hanging around him, but, you know, you don't think he really fucking them, though, because if you know if he was fucking them, though, it'd be a different relationship he got with these girls, right? It's like shit, son goes off to college, nigga only been gone one semester, he comes home to visit. It's like you don't even see your son. <laughs> you don't even know who this nigga is you're looking at. But this is your son. He ain't a teenager. Like he used to be. Yeah, he 18, but it ain't like he 18 in your house. This nigga is, is a, young, a young man. Finding himself, getting comfortable with himself. He comes out the closet with you. Something you've been new, but you have to accept now. You in a whole new world now. You know, all you've been bragging about to your men is how your old son finna be this player nigga in college and you know how you, you know, hope you don't get a chick pregnant and all that shit. And even when you was bragging about your son, you kind of felt the vibe from your homies about your son. You know, just like most parents do. They be in, they be denial, about, in denial about their kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you got to accept it. You don't even know where to go. It's like your son's birthday come up. You don't even know what to give him. You know, he ain't gonna really appreciate, uh... <laughs> I don't know. What you give masculine kids these days, you know? Like, it's like you... You know? Don't know what to give him. It's like, son, I don't know what you like. What do you like? And the shit that he's telling you what he likes, you're just like, oh my God. Like, how are you my son? <laughs> Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's like you think that the world transform your son into somebody else or your son is weak because he ain't being the man that you are. It's you being weak from not accepting the man that your son is. He's a man. Okay? It ain't like you condone this shit in your house. So your son's smart and mature enough to know when to do it. It's that time now. He's being the adult. You're going to have to be the adult here. But this is you in a whole new world. You don't know what to think. It's like, fuck. Like, are you even thinking about having kids and shit? Like, fuck. You know what I mean? It's like your whole shit switched up. I mean, sell how the mama think right now. What's going on in the mama head? We just talked about the, the, the pops. It's like you go into the future really in a whole new place. You don't really know what to do anymore. Like, you know, twin used to be cool. Now you don't even know what to say to your twin. You don't even know how to talk or how to even reconnect. But final card in your message, you're going to have to reread, and that's reconnect. You know, you're going to have to rebuild. You're going to have to, you know, remove something, rehash, reverse, reorder, reanalyze. You know, reread. Reread. You're going to have to switch some shit around. 
Gonna have to do what the fuck you gotta do. And you know exactly what that is, man. So just make sure it gets done. That's my message. Hope I can be of good use. It's your boy D Boom. Please stay tuned. Deuces.